Thank you for joining us for Mom Talk. Today we're going to be discussing romance after having children. So, uh, Becca, how is your love life after having kids? Um, it's great. I, I didn't experience a lot of the things that I think a lot of the a lot of moms do. Mm -hmm. um, the lucky one. Um, but I think time is usually a big issue for people after after they have a baby, and then their self image also is, is a pretty big deal. But yeah. I got pretty lucky. Things didn't really change too terribly much for me. Good. Later. What about you? I felt like I had calls in the beginning because one, I felt like I was like I was a little young. Well, in my opinion, I felt like I'm I'm kind of young. I'm, I was 20 to 23, and I had I was ready for one, but then I had two babies, which is completely fine. We weren't we weren't stopping it, but we yeah. did have two babies. And I felt like so much had changed in two years. I went from like having this like beach bod to like I can't even wear a two piece no more, you know. And I just felt like I see myself so different, and I'm so different now. And my fiance sees me; he doesn't see when he he saw two years ago. I'm just so different, and like. I promise you, I'm still in here. Yeah, and, I, and I think he he did a great job, like making me feel good and like telling me things that maybe there are things that he should tell me, but if they were not, I mean, they did make me feel good. Like he said, like you know, those are the breasts that kept my children alive. You know, like you're the sexiest woman on earth, and just things like that. That's very really sweet. Yeah, and he made me realize like how much I mean to him and. If I'm feeling insecure in my own body, then I'm only taken away from the relationship because yeah. he obviously like enjoys <laughs> me being around him and my body, so I just had to like get over that. Get comfortable like, in your yeah. own skin. And so as soon as I did, as soon as I started feeling like, okay, this is who I am now. It's not gonna go back. Yeah. You know, I could I could only go forward, and it's just been awesome since then. Awesome. I have a, sometimes a hard time to believe what. Even though, you know, yeah. like, they always wonder, are you lying? <laughs> You're trying to butter me up. <laughs> and sometimes he gets upset because he's like, oh, well, then what's the point of me telling you all this if you don't believe me? And then, yeah. of course, he doesn't say it, I don't get upset. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? You don't see me the same way like you used to? And that, you know, so it's no way. But it also, when I, I had a really horrible pregnancy, so I couldn't even look at him. Cause, or at anybody else, I like, couldn't look at people's faces because I, I would get sick. So let alone somebody touching me or saying something, suggesting something and that. And after having the baby, it was such, I don't know, she was so demanding and maybe I made her that way because I was so into her also yeah. that that's all I wanted to do. I didn't care about anything else. Changes with the body, the fact that it loves. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean though about, you know, giving all your attention to the baby, because that's what I did with the first one. <clears throat> and I think it's great when you're like, I want to be like the super mom, but at the same time, you, you end up realizing I haven't been spending time with just my husband. You know, like you kind of told me before, you need to spend time with your husband. I'm realizing that I'm super mom. <laughs> No, like I, I'm realizing my husband and I do need to spend more one-on-one -on -one time together because, you know, it's very easy to get disconnected. Somebody's uh, on the tablet while the other person's watching TV or, you know, the kids are like, you know, when my husband gets home, daddy, 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 and off he's, you know, in the other room with them, spending time with them because he's been gone all day at work. And then I'm like, who are we? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I spent more time on the computer and I'm like, well, I remember when you were on your PlayStation and I was over here like, hello. But I have a good excuse. I'm doing research for the whatever we need to do for the move. So just see, there you but go. it's hard to understand. It's really a productive good. phone call. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but you're right. A lot of people have a child-oriented marriage yeah. where everything about their marriage it circles around their kids. Mm -hmm. and. You, you need to have, you know, you're obvious 
obviously your kids are important, but right. if, you're, if you don't have a good, solid, loving marriage, then it's, it's going to affect them. Right. Yeah, I have a story on. when people, they were like that. And right now I'm very into my daughter and I do want to spend time with him. Like every day, every day I'm feeling bad about not doing it and that. And just like, okay, he's going to come home and tonight we're going to talk and we're going to see a movie together and just, but then my daughter goes to sleep and I was like, oh, I'm so tired, I'm just do some time by myself. Yes. And maybe tomorrow and so, and like I said, you need to work on the marriage and that, and I heard people saying that the kids left to college and they felt like two strangers because they had right. nothing in common anymore mm -hmm. other than the kids. So it's, I don't want to get to that to point. Yeah. Well, hoping that I <laughs> need to yeah. work on it. And do a better job. Well, as long as you're stressing about it, you have it in your mind, I think everything's going to be fine. Because if you're concerned about it, then obviously somewhere in there you're going to make it worse, you know, I, yeah. I think. Because we all struggle with different things, and things can linger in your brain, and then finally you wake up that one day, today is the day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that happens. So yeah. but I think just give yourself time to, to get there, you know. Yeah. Like, my, I think my problem was. I was so afraid of being that mom that puts her spouse before her kids. <clears throat> and you know, you all might not understand what I mean, but <coughs> I do. Like the moms that are like, the kids are like, mom, 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 I want some attention. I, you know, they need something or, or whatever step that the child needs at the time. And it's like, I'm going out on a date with dad again for the, you know, umpteen time. You know, it's like, there's, now I'm realizing there should be a balance. It's not, well, I have to spend time with my husband every single weekend. Well, if your kids are at school all day, every day, then they come home, they do their homework, they eat their dinner, they get their bath, they go to bed, Monday to Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, you're wanting to go on dates with your husband. When are you spending time with your kids? You know what I mean? So I think I'm realizing that there should be a balance between the two. I'm not saying you, I'm just looking at you. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, it gets completely different. It really 
Oh, good. There's so, hope. Yeah. No, I guess, <laughs> yeah, well, I guess it just, everything changed. Well, I guess that's what changed our relationship. That's us working on the balance. Like, and I used to be real, like, um, the attention was, there's all, all, not a lot of attention, but like a lot of, the five feet, because I, I work from home, and mm-hmm. then I have a one-year-old and a two-year-old, you know, and then he's working, so it's a lot of juggling going on, a lot of, like, yeah. understanding, a lot of making time for each other, mm-hmm. and, it, and it gets hard, so I think it had a lot to do with, like, you know, understanding one another. Communicating. Communicating, and yeah. letting each other know what, they, what we want out of the relationship in life, mm-hmm. and then being, like, I was, like, flirt with him a lot, and, like, I try to make him feel, like, you know, awesome. like, it's just me, man, like, yeah. if he walks out the door, I'm like, man, you look so handsome today. I told my husband, like, ooh, you're sexy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then an I see ego stroke. <laughs> huh? A nice ego stroke. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. yeah, and he just, like, all of a sudden, his walk changes, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but. Well, sometimes it doesn't take much to keep them happy. Yeah. <laughs> Is you don't have to you don't have to put you don't have to worry about do I I need to find a sitter somebody that I trust mm-hmm. I I'm gonna have to go make the plans it's all this work to go out on a date and I've heard that from so many different people I have to find a sitter I have to make the reservations I have to get ready while I'm watching the kids I I've heard that so many times mm-hmm. from people um, but if you look at it just look at it a little bit different as you're you're Take putting you, yeah. you're putting in that effort to make your relationship better Mm -hmm. um, and your future but you don't necessarily have to go anywhere yeah I mean you can just really really work those kids out all day at the park and get them super tired you know and then (laughs) when they go to sleep you can you know sit on the couch and watch a movie and yeah yeah, cocoa and popcorn and and, you know have a good night you don't have to spend money you can do it cheap you don't have to go somewhere I beg my husband to spend time with me like watching a movie Some dumb sci-fi movie or something. I don't even care what we're watching. (laughs) Just get over here. (laughs) And the thing is, like, I'm like, come sit on the couch with me. And you know, like, after telling him like several times, like, I really need you to sit with me, because he would be like, I'm not even kidding. He has his tablet. Oh, I'm watching the movie. And he's sitting in his recliner, watching the movie, playing the game. And I'm like, really? And I'm sitting over here, like. Mm, people just want to cuddle me. There's nothing wrong with me. What's wrong? You know, like, you know. Right back to self. So I had to keep, yeah. And, and if you don't, if you can't get that, like, I guess women have, well, not all women, but some women have, like, the romance is different. The way to get the spark is different. Like, I need more attention. Yeah. And that's what gets me, like, hey. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's my love language. There you go. And but, for me, my love language is, like, I'm so busy, hectic day. Yeah. Doing sessions, editing yeah. late at night, and then I, I'm taking it, going to take a bath, and I realize I haven't done laundry. And I open it, all oh, the laundry's done. Oh, he loves me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So everything yeah. is differently because, like, yeah. seeing my laundry all done and put away and have clean clothes to take a nice bath is like, yeah. wow, this man loves me. Yeah. You know, that is like the most romantic thing. They're bringing flowers home, you know, because he makes sure those flowers are going to die. Yeah, that laundry. <laughs> Puts his own touchpad down and he comes, hey, can I come in? 
hang out with you while you're at it. Like, and I make sure. And like, oh, I, nice. it's, it starts to change because you kind of like lead the way, show them how good it feels to mm -hmm. spend time with each other. Like, if you're sitting there telling them, like, oh, well, you're just right here because you want to be, like, you couldn't be like, oh, well, she really doesn't want me to hang out because she's like down my throat already. You know yeah. what I mean? But if you're like, oh, thanks, baby, you're making me feel really special, like, support that, then. My husband and I was, was, was exactly the opposite. He was he was the one that like I am now that wanted all that mm -hmm. alone time and don't touch me or because I just yeah. feel like and out of the blue we just like switch roles <laughs> and it just <laughs> I'm like that now and it's not a, it's not him or anything. It's just that having my daughter constantly oh, yeah. falling on me and all over me and yes. all that and it's like. Don't touch me! I just uh, so it's it's not about him. It's just and the other thing with love language, like he said to me, it's more about me, not about him. Like mm -hmm. I have to feel good about me and that to be able to allow him to approach me or be close to me. Yeah, you have and to allow someone else to love you. It doesn't happen very often that I feel good about. <laughs> yeah, just, I mean, if I'm working on. Different things that go on in your life also add to the stress of, like, just the relationship. You know, there's always bills or family or you have to be here or, you know, there's always, like, there seems to always be something that has to get done. Do you feel that way ever? Like, there's just it's always something on my mind. There's always something that I'm having to stress about. And yeah, it just, it's hard to just be like, hey, honey, whenever you're worried about other things. That, that's true. Well, yeah, it's kind of hard, but for me, like, me and my fiance take things, like, take life really lightly. We're always laughing, we're always joking around. We make jokes all the time, like, we're always running, dancing, like, yeah. doing these crazy things, but, like, that's what we do to keep, like, that's kind of like our romance, you know, like, yeah. what keeps us going is, like, laughing at one another and just not taking Enjoy everything to, yeah. you know, oh, but the kids got to this, 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 and this. No, yeah. while we're making the mac and cheese, we're there, like joking around, like talking about, you got two melts over there, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's how we are, and that's what we do to keep it. Like, yeah. I actually have heard that cooking together can bring a couple together. Like, that's the biggest uh, way to. kitchen, right? That's funny. You know, my husband doesn't know, he will not cook. <laughs> Nothing. But you know, when I met him, he, he would. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, he will, like, Mother's Day, he made me a Mother's Day breakfast and stuff, but cereal. It was so funny, like, we went from, <laughs> where's the belt? No, uh, we went from, like, he had his own apartment and he would have to cook for himself to, like, dinner. <laughs> so, like, do you, like, if I'm busy or something, I'm like, do you not remember what cooking was like? Like, it wasn't that long ago. But, no, like, he, he does help me out a lot. I did not enjoy cooking, so when we first met, mm -hmm. I only cook if there's something that I would like to eat and he doesn't know how to cook it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like a traditional dish or something that I like to do or that. So when we first started dating and that, I would go to his house and, and was cooking something and he would show me, oh, if you cut this this way and that. From, at the beginning, I was like, oh, okay, well, whatever. But it got to a point where I told him, okay, when you do it, do you away. When I'm doing it, leave me alone. <laughs> so that was the end of us cooking together. <laughs> and that was three years ago. <laughs> so how do you find the energy to build a relationship? I think it's a desire that you have to have, would probably be my best answer. You have to have that driven, driven desire to say, you know what, I want better than how it's going. And I think self-confidence is a huge, huge issue for so many women in their marriage. Because if you don't feel sexy in yourself, then you're not gonna feel sexy in what you're wearing or how you're dancing for him or whatever you're doing. And so how you feel about yourself. Dancing, you dance. <laughs> affects everything. It completely affects your whole marriage. But if you have that, that real desire to make it change, you'll find a way to make it change because only the two of you will know what's gonna work for y'all because what works for myself and my husband probably wouldn't do anything for you 
you know, yeah. but you, you'll find it inside and, and just make it happen. But I think, I really think it starts with yourself. You have to feel good about yourself in some sort of way, even if you don't look in the mirror, because that's the thing, you know, to feel good about yourself. And it'll just when the lights are off, just tell yourself, I'm a supermodel. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that, though. I think it's all in, in yourself and how, because I, I just think about it like in a different way. Like when you're having a good day and you come in and your husband having a horrible day on the couch, all of a sudden your day just goes, you know? yeah. So whenever you're having a good, sexy day, all of a sudden, like, he's having a good, sexy day. You know what I mean? Then y'all, y'all vibe off each other. I mean, yeah. y'all live in the same house. Y'all speak the same. Me and my yeah. fiance talk exactly like everything yeah. we say is on top. We read each other's mind. We could walk through the door and we say the exact same sentence when we walk in, like, joking around. But that's why, you, I mean, you would know what. It's it's connected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it's always going to be that way. So and right now, if you go home, like so happy, he's gonna be so happy because you yeah. are happy. Yeah. You know. Put on some really cute underwear under your clothes. <laughs> yeah. Or just and don't worry. All day long, <laughs> you'll be like feeling good about yourself. You know. Yeah. Thank you. Really about about so much about that. Yeah. Good and he'll have a good quality. Probably. <laughs> 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 you know, that's another subject that I don't understand. Is like, well, that's probably from another for another show. The controversy about Victoria's Secret and. Underwear for teenagers, but that's probably a lot of shows. But they do have nice stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, so. I, yeah, we have a card from there. And we don't have many cards. <laughs> I maxed it out the first month. <laughs> but yeah. That was in college. <laughs> I think it's important to focus on yourself too and like go to the store and buy things that make you, maybe it's not the things that make you feel bad, good a long time ago, but work with your body that you have now and make mm -hmm. yourself. So good, buy those sexy underwear. Maybe you don't like them that sexy anymore, but you know what else sexy. makes you feel sexy? Not the green. High heels. <laughs> yeah, high heels. High heels are sexy. It's because no matter what weight you are, you can look really good yeah. in some heels yeah. on hand. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, it's true. I love shoes. Making yourself you feel uh, feminine. Like I, I'm gonna say this, and I'm probably the bad, the worst person to say because I'm very like my hair is just up in a ponytail, no makeup on usually. <laughs> I do though. I've always been that way. And my friend that was in Cosmo, she was like, let me fix your hair. Let me do your makeup. <laughs> like growing up, you know? But um, I think it all starts like if you can dress nicely. I mean, it doesn't matter how big you are. If you take care of yourself, like as far as like your hair, your, your makeup, and you're going to feel sexy. Yeah, that yeah. Feel okay. good. So, so, like at the beginning, well, I like in, in the house to be comfortable. So I like comfortable clothes, and he's always, I don't understand you, Mama. Why do you have to be in those clothes that you can't even take a, a deep breath? Because they look good, but in the house, yet you want the sweatpants or whatever. Yeah. And I like to be comfortable, but I didn't do that at the beginning when we were yeah. dating and that. We weren't chasing a toddler either. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sometimes. Of course, you were chasing heels. But and uh, that's okay. <laughs> so it's, it's like in the house. Okay, he comes home, and I'm still in my pajama. Because yeah. <laughs> I didn't have the chance to change it. Just yeah. one day, and I guarantee you he's gonna notice. Hey. I have this when I go. It's not like an everyday, I, but still. I, I, have a, I have a question that I bet so many moms can relate to. When you walk into a store, a department store, usually what's the first area that you go to? Underwear and purses? <laughs> That's really the first thing that you would go to? Okay, maybe I'm weird. Where do you go? Okay, well, I go to like either dress oh, or wait, wait. shoes. Not for women, I'm talking about just a department store. Oh. A department store, a, a, a major store, you know, um, yeah, something that sells clothing and food and whatever you're wanting. Oh, no. Store. The children's department. <laughs> yeah, yeah I go to That's the, right, most. That's my I always first thought that. Well, look at those but toys, they would love that. Yeah. <laughs> Or after my or even a clothing store, like, oh, they have kids clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. I think yeah. so many women. So many women do that. clothing store for, for women. I'm sorry. No, I'm confused with the question. Four okay. kids later, after after Kendall, I realized that's what I did. I yeah. I didn't I'm guilty. pay too much attention um, to exactly what I was wearing until. 
I really realized mm -hmm. I would rather spend $20 on an extra pair of jeans or shoes for one of my kids than thinking about myself. And I wanted to give them whatever first before myself. You want to provide them with everything you can provide, but you have to go one step past that and make sure that you're taking care of yourself too. Don't don't give them a, a 19th pair of shoe and you don't even have a pair of pants that fit. I, I totally agree with that. I am so guilty of it. That. Yeah. Because like even even for the like the show, I had to go out and buy nice blouses and stuff to wear because I really didn't have very much t-shirts and sweatpants and I mean I didn't I just I wore that all the time and you know it's makes you realize my husband has to see he has to see this frumpy person every day. So, I mean, well, yeah, I just, uh, okay. recently I was digging through my closet just trying to declutter and pack and stuff. And I found this skirt that was supposed to be my favorite not long ago. And I showed it to my husband. He's like, Do you remember this? Do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> when I looked at the skirt, it was like, okay, if I go on the street, probably somebody would ask where you left the skirt or something. But that was my, okay, my everyday outfit when. Yeah. Not long ago, and now it's like you said, kids' clothes. Mm -hmm. That's my first thought. Well, I'm recently, just recently, started realizing that I was told that when I showed somebody a picture of not long ago of me, it's like, oh, really? Is that that's you? Yeah. Isn't it Who's that person? Like, in your like picture look at that. You're just so hot and so bad. Mm -hmm. and yeah. And she didn't mean in the mean way to yeah. tell me that. Hurtful, I look, yeah. Look like now. Really did let go my oh, myself that that much, so I yeah. just start thinking. Okay, maybe I should spend more, less money on my daughter's clothes that she doesn't care anyway about. Yeah. <laughs> Is she gonna go and roll it, roll in the sand with and that and maybe and outgrow in like three months. <laughs> try to do something more for me. Yeah. Again. It's because you're also and doing it for him. Yeah, yeah. and it's hard to remember that. I mean, when you got married. I became one person. Yeah, huh? I remember it now. <laughs> I mean, like, it's hard to remember to think about not just, like, when when you're looking at yourself, you're not just looking at yourself, you're looking at your spouse because you're one when you get married. Not only and that, but you, you kind of, like, you, yeah, you're getting dressed for him, but then, again, you also make an, an impression on your children. Your children That's true. want to see you taking care of yourself. They mm -hmm. want to see, like, when I, I know when I get dressed and I feel like I'm ready to go for my day, all of a sudden my son is like, where are we going? We're going to have so much fun today. Mom looks yeah. happy, you know? Yeah. And that's awesome because when I know what, that, like again, your, the way you feel yeah. affects your whole family because you're a mom. Like, everything you drop off a mom. I was uh, getting dressed to go out to do some shopping and I asked my daughter, is mommy pretty? She was like, oh, okay, you're paying attention? <laughs> really? You're not even too, but I don't know. She understood what I was asking, but just so. And I read I think in one of these books that you find everywhere about relationship with daughters and mm -hmm. things. And like one of the things was what to teach your daughter was mm -hmm. always love your body, at least in front of your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to do that, yeah. and I hope I can do it later when she's to teach her that she yeah. can be confident and whatever. How I used to be, <laughs> and hopefully I'll get to that point again. <laughs>